Greetings and salutations. It is Sunday, September 6th, and tomorrow's a holiday, which means I don't have to go into work, which I'm very excited about. So, I don't really know what I want to talk about today. Um, we had a potluck with my family yesterday, which was oodles and oodles of fun. Um, it was a pasta potluck, so my mom made big, big vats of pasta, and everyone brought a sauce. We managed to make a vegan vodka sauce. It was so so good. Made me very happy. I haven't had vodka sauce in like over five years. So that was a lot of fun. And yeah, my parents are dog sitting. The second dog I showed you guys last month or last week rather. And uh, she's so sweet. She's so cute. So they have her for another week or so. And work has been insane. Uh, crazy busy and fun. And we made, oh, we made butterbeer lattes. Okay. So I need to write this down. So if you go to Starbucks and you want a butterbeer latte, hold on, I'm gonna write this out. I probably should have written this out first, but that's okay. Okay, so this is if it's a grande. I hope, yeah, you can read this. Okay, so you can get a decaf if you want, you can get extra shots if you want. But the important thing is that you get a latte with extra foam, and you get, if it's a grande, you get two pumps caramel, two pumps toffee nut. If you get a tall, you want one and a half, one and a half, and if you get a venti, you want um, three and three. No. Three and three? What goes in a venti? Four, five, so two and a half and two and a half. Um, the venti, I so, and we can do frappuccinos too, so if you want a butterbeer frappuccino, you get the full on venti size, you get a syrup creme frappuccino, you get the creme base, not the caffeine base, it's way better. And then you get it with three pumps caramel, three pumps toffee nut, and then you get the caramel drizzle on top. And whipped cream, obviously, you gotta have whipped cream. But yeah, so yeah, extra foam for the hot one because it, if you watch um, Half Blood Prince, they have the big foamy stuff, but even if you make it, like if you make butter beers just straight like in your kitchen without like the coffee version of it, um, it gets, uh, it's really, really frothy. And so I always get the extra foam when it's like extra creamy in. The toffee nut makes it really creamy and the caramel makes it like that, that kind of like butterscotchy sweet taste. So yeah, A plus, it's really good. I had a different version and it was, it had a lot of different different sweeteners in it, but this one is a lot easier and it's, it's really good, it's really good. So yeah, butterbeer lattes and butterbeer frappuccinos, A plus. Oh, I was drinking them all last week. They were so, 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 so good. So I need to get the syrups at home so I can have them here because oh God. So every time someone would order one, I'd run down the cup and then I'd go and I'd go, espresso petronum, and it was hilarious and it was awesome. And the customers all got a kick out of it and my staff, all the staff loved it. My manager's amazing because she got the recipe for the frap and then we figured it out for the latte. So yeah, butterbeer lattes, the things you do when you go and work at Starbucks for a while. Um, but yeah, so lately my latest thing has been finding like candies and trying to figure out how to make them like in drink form so we've kind of done it we've almost successfully done a toffee fate i can't have it um but yeah so stuff like that so that, that's kind of been my current obsession and yeah i think that's it yeah three minutes that's good enough so that is it for today thank you so much for watching um tomorrow i'm gonna possibly do some reading with the husband or some diablo i haven't quite decided yet but there are some cat raids that i can do by myself so maybe i'll do those this week anyway thank you for watching like and subscribe if you feel so inclined have a beautiful day